this is Hilary from Aquafortis Astrology. So this is the astrology forecast for the first week of July 2019 and obviously we have the eclipses. So the action starts on the 2nd of July 2019 at 0119 UTC plus 2 where it is, is finally Mars time to leave the Cancer battlefield and enters the house of Leo. Now, this means that first and foremost, Mars won't be quarreling anymore with Saturn, Pluto and the nodes of the Moon. And this in itself will bring some sort of relief, really good relief at least. Also, Mars entering Leo would mean that he will start picking up a conversation with Jupiter in Sagittarius which is definitely a more pleasant conversation than the one Mars had with the demolition team back in Capricorn. Mars in Leo finds back his fire and determination. He walks through life with a royally dignified manner. His newfound determination will help him get what he wants. Mars in Leo is happy because he is fueled by the sun, and so being self-conscious and self-centered becomes easier making Mars' action more sustained and direct. Mars will be in Leo till the 17th of August 2019. So until then, we will feel prouder, bolder, and more determined what we want in life and how we get it. Next on the agenda are the eclipses, which are the highlight of this week, basically. On the 2nd of July 2019, at 2117 UTC plus 2, we have a dark moon and a total solar eclipse at 10 degrees 37 of Cancer. It won't be visible in Europe, it will be visible in parts of South America. A dark moon is by nature of the lunar cycle a resetting point. When eclipses occur, these become even greater resetting points. Eclipses are disruptions in the normal relationship of the Earth, Sun and Moon cycle. The energy should never be doubled with. It is too erratic and too big for us to handle. So please avoid charging anything with this energy if you don't want any backfiring. Avoid any energy work during the eclipse window too, preferably until the moon leaves the house of Cancer. Moon enters Leo on the 4th of July 2019 at 0519 UTC plus 2. So it's it safe by then. Since eclipses are not the normal routine, they signal changes. They first create chaos so to forge a new path. What eclipses are good for is letting go of stuff for one's life. However, eclipses have their own agenda. It works better if we just put ourselves in a position to let go of whatever needs to go. During the eclipse period, imagine your internal GPS being completely disrupted. Then it receives a new update, and now it has to calculate its new route to destination. In whichever area these eclipses are happening, they are triggering changes, some of them long coming. Some of the effects will be only understood later on. These eclipses, this eclipse is a continuation of the one we had on the 6th of January 2019. Back then a story started and this is the chapter 2 of that story. These eclipses form part of the Cancer Capricorn narrative that has picked up last month with Mars and Mercury opposing the triple whammy of desolation made of Saturn, Pluto and South Node in Capricorn. This story will continue to evolve, with Venus entering the House of Cancer on the 3rd of July 2019 at 1718 UTC plus 2. Venus in Cancer is usually a pleasant day. Venus loves the watery environment that Cancer can give and nurture. Bonding is easier and faster when feelings are involved. However, as much as this Venus in Cancer would try to bring respite from all that has happened in the Cancer-Capricorn axis, it won't be able to do much in front of the destructive might of Saturn, Pluto and South Node mix. 
Venus itself will have to face this very tight and dangerous mountain pass, and she will be very unwillingly transformed in the process. On the 8th of July 2019, at 0114 UTC plus 2, Mercury Leo stops its forward motion and slowly will start its journey back towards the Cancer house. And this is another part of the Cancer Capricorn narrative taking place. As you can see, there is a lot of action taking place in one particular part of the sky, which means that in one particular area of our lives, there is much ferment. This fermentation is very introspective in nature. Although external events can happen that will help us shift to the new direction, much of the work will be happening in our lives. It is a fermentation that yields a new spirit that will then drive our emotions and actions in a very completely different manner. The eclipse's window lasts until the next dark moon on the 1st of August 2019, and on the same day, Mercury will end its retrograde too. Remember, you can't accelerate fermentation. A good beer and a good wine needs time to come into being. This is such a period for us, and for all the world. It's an incubation period. A nasty one, but it's still an incubation period. What it is that you are incubating? What it is that is silently transforming your inner landscape? Should you need any guidance of how to navigate these energies, I'm available for private consultations. Before you go, remember to let me know what you think, thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my page.